Here are two very short basic programs, one-liners, that relate to specific literary projects and extend literary processes onto two classic computers. They do it simply by displaying letters. This first program for the Apple II is called Complaints and enacts a type of conceptual writing, uncreative writing or appropriation writing, like the sort you see in Kenneth Goldsmith's Day, a book that simply contains all the text from one day's New York Times. Complaints reaches into the Apple II's ROM, its read-only memory, and finds the error messages stored there. Then it just endlessly displays these in a loop, like a hypochondriac. It's a very short program that prods the computer to do what it's already inclined to do, getting it to write what already lurks inside. And now, on to the Commodore 64. While the Apple II can also display color, this computer has better graphics in many ways and can easily present individual characters in different colors. This short basic program, Voyelle, is dedicated to Christian book and uses this ability to color the vowels according to the scheme that Arthur Rimbaud laid out in his poem of the same name, A Black, E White, I Red. As the vowels are produced at random and proceed up the screen, the background and the border change between these same five colors so that at any given time, one set of vowels will always be invisible and different arrangements of them, different constellations, as Mallarmé would have said, visibly pop out.